welcome to my very first theme park vlog of 2023. If you don't know me, my name is Ella. I love theme parks, I love traveling, I love doing silly little vlogs here on the internet. And today I am at Six Flags Great America, and I've been to Six Flags Great America so many times, but this is my first time coming in 2023. I've not been on a roller coaster since I went to the IAPA convention in Florida. Um, I went to Universal Studios and there's a vlog of that if you would like to hear about my beef with the Rip Ride Rocket. But anyways, back to today. This is going to be my first time riding a roller coaster since November. So it's been a couple months. <laughs> I'm very ready to get back at it. Um, really my main objective today, I just want to get on Goliath. That's what I'm looking forward to the most. Um, there's only about three hours left of time the park opened. I came straight from work. I'm gonna try to make the most of the three hours that I have here in the park, but it did rain for the majority of like the morning and the afternoon today. It doesn't look like it's gonna rain according to the radar, but there are some dark clouds in the sky. So I'm just gonna try to get on um, what I can. I don't even know if I'm gonna stay for the full three hours. Um, it is a little chilly today, um, but luckily I have my zipper pocket jacket like a well-prepared enthusiast, but I did wear my glasses like a not well-prepared enthusiast. Um, this is my first time wearing glasses to a theme park in years, so fingers crossed I remember to take them off. Um, but anyways, I'm so excited to get back into the park. Uh, it looks like there's a lot of new food options as well. I don't know if I'll be eating any of them today while I'm here in the park, um, but who knows? Might want a little snack. Um, and it looks like they've done some general park improvements as well, as far as painting buildings, adding benches, and like little cosmetic things. Um, so I will hopefully document some of that, um, if I remember, because sometimes when I film these vlogs, I forget I'm filming a vlog and have to like make content. Um, but yeah, enough of me sitting in my car talking, let's get into the park. First thing you notice right when you enter the park, got a new sign at the carousel and all these beautiful tulips, which don't like the cold weather today, but park is looking good. We got a fresh new coat of paint here in Orleans Place and a great new sign for the Emporium. This whole area of the park is looking really nice. Big Lou's is open once again. I um, believe they have Italian beefs there and continuing the bar that they had last season. Don't know if I'll be making a stop there today, but definitely at some point this year, I would love to check out the food. Roaring Rapids did not open for a very long time last summer, but the sign is hopeful that it will open at some point. Joker is running today, not necessarily in this video clip, but it is cycling and I'm very tempted to ride it. However, I'm just here by myself at the park today, so I have a feeling if I ride it, I probably won't flip very much, but it looks like the line is not that long, so might have to grab a ride on that at some point today. Entering DC Universe now, which still looks great after all of the updates they made to it last year. There she goes. Target is in sight, Goliath is running. Also, I don't know if they're like pumping the smell of french fries throughout this section of the park, but it smells so good. Um, so the odds of me getting a snack while I'm here has definitely increased. Very excited to get this ride on Goliath, but along the way you can see the Mooseburger Lodge here is getting a little bit of a facelift. Um, looks like they're working on expanding the patio there. A lot of construction going on, so. It's a pretty big space this restaurant takes up, so whatever they put here should be like a really nice new area. I think after Oktoberfest there, saw the potential of this location and I'm really excited to see what they do with it. Because they really have a nice space out there. Time for the main event. Alrighty, I did it. I did the bit. I got on Goliath and it was fabulous. We sat in the back row, back row, best row, of course. And it was great to be back on a coaster. Oh, I feel like I needed that after, you know, all those months without riding a ride. Um, it, feels, it feels good to be back. Um, back to theme park vlogging. I haven't done that in a minute. Um, but yeah, 
great ride on Goliath, classic. It is a little chilly today, so probably not running as fast as it can, but still a great ride nonetheless. Enjoyed it, had a great time. And check this out. Revolution is open. How about that? Check this out, right over here by American Eagle. There is now chocolate chip cheesecake on a stick. Um, I believe it's served cold, and then they also have pancakes here as well. I mean, you can get different toppings on them. The pancakes are like your warm treat for the chilly days like today, and then the cheesecake is nice and chilly. Um, not gonna eat here today, but definitely wanna try this out at some point, and the building looks really nice. All right, just got in a ride on Just Asleep Battle for Metropolis, and I think I'm finally starting to improve at that ride. I've been on it like so many times, but I think I'm finally starting to get the hang of like where everything is and what I should actually be shooting at instead of just random spamming. But anyways, I think it is now time for the ride on Raging Bull. I'm so excited. I'm so excited to ride Raging Bull. It's one of my favorites. Um, so I'm heading that way now. I think after that, I'm gonna plan to go over to Viper and then maybe loop around towards the front. Check out the line for Max Force maybe. Maybe get a snack. I heard there's bubble tea in the park now. That sounds good. Alrighty, I just got off my ride on Raging Bull. I sat third row from the back. So the line for the back was a little bit long. And I still had a great time. Some good air time. Very windy up there. I kind of wish I wore a warmer jacket now, but whatever. Alrighty, I think my plan is I'm gonna grab a ride on Viper and then I'm kind of craving chicken tenders. So I think I'm gonna get so that's my plan. There's a quick look at Mijo's, the new authentic Mexican restaurant here at Six Flags Great America, formerly Watering Hole. Another new addition for the park this year in terms of food. All right, I just got off my ride on Viper, which was pretty good. I do think it is running a little bit rougher than it has, at least from other times I've run it. Um, but it's still fun, still good. Still love that ride. Still always am so surprised with how long that exit queue is. <laughs> um, but yeah, good ride on Viper. Probably going to find some dinner. I'm getting hungry if you can't tell by how many times I mentioned food in this video. But yeah, gonna do us a little snack. Alrighty, here's the food from Strutters. I don't know if I just got lucky, but they gave me two corn muffins, so that's a dub. Um, but yeah, let's see how it tastes. All right, just finished eating at Strutter's, which pretty good. Food is pretty good. Um, the cornbread muffins were like surprisingly good because I'm not really a huge fan of cornbread muffins, but it was tasty. I enjoyed it. Fries and chicken were both very crispy and there was a lot of pepper on the chicken. So if you're not a pepper fan, you've been warned. Um, I think I'm gonna try to get one more ride before I head out. The park closes in about an hour. Um, I didn't really come out here with the intention of getting like a ton of rides, um, and it is starting to drizzle a little bit. Um, so I think I am going to, I'm kind of thinking Joker if the line is short. Um, so I'm gonna head in that direction. Maybe Superman, maybe Batman. Um, something over in DC Universe, I think, and then probably gonna head out for the night. Uh, the new bubble tea station over here in Hometown Square, right in front of the Hometown Fun Machine. Just another, yet another snack added to the park. They really upped their food game this season, it seems like, and hopefully in future videos I'll get to try some more of the tasty treats. <laughs> well, you might be able to tell it rained. My glasses are so foggy, I like, cannot even see out of them right now. But I got one last ride in before I headed out of the park. I rode Joker, and it was actually my first ever rain ride on Joker. And it was a lot of fun. They paired me with another group, so I wasn't single riding. So we did flip a decent amount. It was, it was fun. Probably not like my best ever ride on Joker, but I will say, I know people like to trash on the free spins, but once you know how to ride them, they can be pretty fun. You really just have to keep your head back as much as possible so it doesn't really give you like that head banging effect. Um, but yeah, I had a fun time on Joker. Um, that's gonna conclude it for my first trip of the year here at Six Flags Great America. Overall, I know like I didn't come in expecting to like ride a ton of things because I only had a few hours in the park. Um, I'm leaving about like 45 minutes before park close um, with the rain and the cold. 
and the, my lack of a hood on this jacket. I think I'm satisfied with my trip today. Um, but for a first visit, I was actually really impressed with the speed of the operations for only being open like two weekends. The ops are doing a really great job of keeping things moving efficiently and quickly and interacting with the guests. Um, so shout out to the ride ops, especially on Viper, because y'all were like super fast. Um, good, good job, ride ops at Six Flags. Um, yeah, I mean, park looked pretty good. Lots of flowering plants and trees. It's starting to feel like spring. Summer is hopefully on its way. Um, but yeah, for a week after opening weekend, it was pretty great. There wasn't really a lot of lines for anything. Pretty much everything was a walk-on. I mean, I am a single rider, so that does help um, using the single rider lines, but it was a really good experience for the park only being open two weekends. And I am excited for the rest of the season. I know that I didn't get to ride everything today, but this will not be my last trip to Six Flags Great America this year. So stay tuned for more if you would like to see more of my adventures. Um, at theme parks, traveling, other random bits. Subscribe if you like that. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Drop it a like if you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment about your visits to Six Flags Great America, your theme parks, your home park, your travels, whatever you want. Leave me a comment if you have something to say. And I hope to see you on my next video. Adios!